invariably, invariably, you say something that goes against what the programming says. And you get somebody who decides to call you a name. After they call you a name, they insist that anything that you say is wrong, whether it's wrong or not. And then they will continue to robotically claim that you are wrong and you are whatever name they're calling you. And you'll say, yeah, better bring some proof, bucko. And they say, "Uh uh-uh, I don't have to because I don't want to. Or they'll throw a bunch of words together that don't actually really say anything, but they think they've made a point. It's a mental deficiency or uh, an artifact of the programming. This person keeps calling me an idiot because of the outlandish conspiracies, I believe. And then when legit news outlet articles are presented stating the situation as it currently stands, which is that um, the uh, autopsy has been completed on Mr. Guy that got high-profile thing the other day. I'm not going to say the name. And uh, and that they're waiting on further information before they present it, that there is no, no official cause of death as of yet. And yet, and yet, the news is repeatedly insisting on ABC, NBC, CBS, CNN, that it's a suicide. Hmm. Hmm. And so this guy has called me and idiot before. <laughs> You're and idiot. And this time was like, you really are an idiot. But hasn't brought anything to the table. It's just calling names and poo-pooing everything. That is an idiot in action. So, yeah. Um watching these things happen. A lot of people realize, and a lot of folks that suspected but weren't sure, they were afraid to say something. And then you get these ass clowns. This is the real idiot, the real usefuls. They are programmed to attack verbally, if not physically, anyone who is a threat to the oppression, to the narrative. As Morpheus said, some people are so, they're still connected. They are so hopelessly inured to the system of control that they will fight to protect it. That is what is happening. So, thankfully, those people are like 1 in 20 at this point or less. Or less. Their numbers are dwindling uh, because people are waking up to the realization that a lot of this shit is really going on and that they have just been told to, to not pay attention to it. And I'll be real honest. There's nothing to be ashamed of to having been tricked into anything at some point. There's something to be ashamed of when you have seen the evidence that you've been tricked and you refuse to believe it. That's where the shame lies. Because there's no shame in getting fooled. It happens to err as human. But what you have to do is move on and realize where you've been tricked and not be tricked by that again. That's what I'm getting at. So right now I'm dealing with someone that maybe can be... Come on, really? Someone that maybe can be helped, but maybe not. This person may be hopeless. We'll find out. But, uh, yeah, that people get tricked. I've been tricked. I've been brainwashed. And uh, it's when you make your way out of it, once you've seen the truth, that's the important part. It's, it's nothing to be ashamed of when a highly sophisticated operation with the express purpose of brainwashing people successfully brainwashes a bunch of people. It's going to happen. So uh, there's nothing to be ashamed of in that. What there is to be ashamed of is when you are being shown what is real and you are still refusing and you are clinging to the old story. There is much shame and dishonor in that.